Hello, welcome to Salt and Light Canning. I'm Jessica and this is my kitchen. Today I am canning red beans. I had some red beans in the pantry and we just haven't been eating them. And the reason we haven't been eating them is because I haven't canned them. So if I can them, we eat them. Um, it is really important when you're storing something in your pantry that you cook it, that you use it, that is things that you know that your family likes and that they will eat. So today I'm using reusable lids. Um, check out my link in the description for my Amazon store. You'll find my reusable lids there that I use. I've already put a mark on each of these lids to know how many times I've used them. Um, you can use the gasket for up to 10 times and you can use the lid part for like ever. It's like your drawers, you can use it forever. So I have to prep these a little bit. So I have some hot boiling water right here. I'm going to pour those over my lids. Let them soak for a little bit. And I'm going to put beans in my jars. Now, in general, when I'm canning beans, I don't soak them. Um, if it's just plain beans and I know when I open the jar, I'm going to rinse them anyway and cook them. I don't soak them. I know that's not technically the approved method. So please do your research and do what you feel is right. Um, I've done this for several years now and I've never had a problem, but you do you and you do what you feel is safe. Um, I feel safe doing this. So I have just my dried washed beans. I rinse these really well. And I'm going to use about half a cup or a little bit less and put that in my jar. And then I'm going to get a little less than half a teaspoon of salt. This is actually um, kosher salt because you can use kosher salt or canning salt. And then I have just filtered water. And I fill my jar to one inch of headspace. I deep bubble. Now, I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and I just have some white vinegar and I'm going to wipe the rim of my jar. Then, you just saw me pour hot boiling water in there, so I don't want to put my hand in there. I'm going to get one of these lids out. Now the water just helps to soften your gasket and make it more pliable and ensure that it sticks. So then I will line up my lid because that's what I do. Now with reusable lids, it's a little bit different than uh, regular lids. So you're going to put your ring on and you're going to go just until the jar can turn. If the jar is turning freely, that's as tight as you need to go. Don't go any tighter because if you go too tight, then your jar can't vent and you won't get a seal. So just until the jar can turn freely is as tight as you need to go. So one more time, I'll show you. About half a cup or a little bit less of beans per pint. If you were doing quarts, then it would be about one cup or a little bit less of beans. Then I do, you don't have to do salt at all, but I do a little bit less than half a teaspoon of salt. Filtered water. Up to, well that was too full supposed to be to one inch of headspace. So hold on, let me get a spoon. One more. A one inch of headspace. De-bubble really well. Wipe the rim of my jar. And I'll get my reusable lid. Put 
line it up my ring and just until the jar can turn freely and that's enough I'm gonna finish filling my jars and we'll be back when we're going to the canner So from one four pound bag of beans, I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 jars. Now, a four pound bag of beans cost me about four bucks, a um, little less. And I got 22 jars, which is equivalent to 22 cans of beans at the store. I can't get a can of beans at the store for, you know, the price of four bucks, right? Can't get 22 cans of beans for $4. So by canning my own beans, I'm saving a lot of money for my family. Plus everything I've done today is reusable. My jars are reusable, the lids are reusable, the rings are reusable, so I'm creating very little waste in preserving my food. So, food for thought, you're saving money with canning a lot. So, I'm going to wash probably another half a bag of beans and get the rest of these jars filled up, and I'll be back in just a minute. So, this canner's full, this canner's a little short. I have a total of 32 jars and I'm going to get started. These are going to process in the canner for 75 minutes. My water in the canner is cold and I do have a splash of vinegar just to prevent clouding, but you don't have to do that. So I get this turned on, get my lids on. So I'm going to let these heat up and then when this starts to vent, like a steady stream of steam, not like a wimpy stream of steam, a steady stream of steam for 10 minutes, then I will put my weights on and I will bring this up to 15 pounds of pressure. That's for my altitude. Please check your altitude. It might be different than mine. <laughs> Okay, I'm above a thousand feet, so I have to process mine at 15 pounds of pressure. And then I'm going to time it once it gets to 15 pounds of pressure for 75 minutes. That's the timing for beans um, is 75 minutes. And then I'll be back when I'm taking them out of the counter. And um, when I take them out, it's a little different than if you just use regular lids. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'll be back when this is done. So like in a second for you. Well, my canners are done. Well, mostly done. This one's almost, when this little thing pops down, I'll um, take the weight off and just crack the lid a little bit so that some cool air gets into the canner and it can acclimate. Now with reusable lids, make sure that you're grabbing the glass and not the ring because a lot of times the ring will get loose in the canning process and if anything is hissing or squealing don't touch it <laughs> also someone said they couldn't see what i was doing last time all i do is take a towel and just tighten it down it doesn't have to be like squished down or whatever just tighten it down then I set it right here on my counter. And I do the next one. I'm just going to empty these out. But I want to encourage you. If there's something that you're not using in your pantry, find a way that you'll use it. Beans are extremely easy to can. And I find when they're canned already and they're already cooked that we use them more often. And then I don't have things going bad in my pantry. But I want to encourage you to don't be afraid. 
Don't be afraid about all these rumors and all this fear mongering. You don't have to be afraid, okay? <laughs> the Bible says, I've never seen God's children begging for bread, okay? And he says that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. So don't worry about stuff. Don't worry about stuff. Be so blessed, know that you're loved, and be a blessing to someone else. We'll see you in the next video.